Alrighty. So, The Anxiety Workbook for Supporting Teens Who Learn Differently by Claire Ward and James Clapton. Calpin? I don't know why. Calpin. There we go. <laughs> so, a framework and activities to build structure, sensory, and social certainty. So, those are the three main aspects that um, are um, looked at structure, sensory, and social. So, those are the three main aspects that um, it's a focus on in this workbook. So, it isn't a book just for like graph for your teen and say, There you go. This is for more of uh, like teaching, um, like teachers, giving them a few different um, ways to look at um, giving the information or like helping the student out because like there are different ways because uh, as everybody knows there's different ways kids learn stuff. Um, it's more um, like to me, I it's more informational and um, situational of like those aspects to help students rather like you do get um, like the templates and an example of how to use that template um, in this book, but uh, there could have been more of those like worksheets um, templates um, type of thing. If you're going to call it a workbook, you kind of need more of those different like prompts, tables, charts, whatever. And to me, you only got it like here's a few placed throughout um, the book. Um, like at some points it can be bringing like have like yeah, like 95% of it is like, 90% of it is like, teachers, here you go. But there is also that like student aspect of it. Um, so, uh, you get an overview of each chapter and then in the, in the introduction. Um, you do get like further reading references placed throughout. So, um, and you do also get like these like um, dashed boxes of like other information. Um, so, and like you do get these random like random visuals to try and um, to try and explain the point um, uncertainty three models of uncertainty um, and you get like a chapter summary as well growth and fixed mindsets so it goes over that um, mindset quiz so having stuff more like this and like in the worksheets. So like fixed mindset thought cards. So like you could um, copy it or download it, um, download these and like cut them out and go from there. So. So like different types of like learning, so like slides, what to do and don't do, um, whiteboard, hand, handouts, and it goes on. More of like, well it's guidelines and avoid, so more, go more guidelines than avoids. Um, 
so like if you only have five minutes um, tips for building structural certainty in the classroom so balance familiar structure with student choice be consistent with presentation and so on So the three three analysis. Um, so just like what's that behavior? Where's the um, three S's come into play? And ideas for certainty. So they give you an example, and so you got the three um, the question, the three S's, and then um, ideas to do um, observations. Social debate cards. Um, so it's a lot of like kind of like theory type of thing to um, help back up to try and try back up to explain these three S's and sort of give um, some activities to do or like observations to do. So, um, I don't know how helpful this is going to be for, um, for teachers and students, but it's an option and something to give a go if you do want to try this. So, the Anxiety Workbook for Supporting Teens Who Learn Differently. Happy readings.